Hey folks, are you looking for a great way to enjoy the summer and the rest of the year? Then come with me for a quick walk around tour on this 1995 270C Ray Sundancer. As we can see, she's sitting nicely on this tandem axle aluminum trailer so you can drag her wherever you want to go. And one of the best features on this boat, we've got a new 383 stroker engine with two years left on the warranty. We also have a Bravo 1 XBR outdrive on her, which is nice and strong to handle that additional horsepower. Creature Comforts includes that full enclosure so you can use it year round. The interior has been redone. The upholstery is brand new and there's a LLI, ladies like it feature, which you'll see in the launch photos. There's full deck cushions so everyone can lay out, enjoy the full aspects of the boat. She's neat, clean, odor free, ready for the summer. So come with me as we view this boat here at South Mountain Yachts. Once aboard this 270 Sea Ray Sundancer, we enter the cockpit through this port side door right here. And immediately we see we have our gunnels, a little bit of storage there and battery switch and our shore power hookup right there. So it's nice and convenient. Moving forward, we have what I call an LLI, ladies like it feature. We've got that chaise lounge seating just to kind of spread out on. Circling to starboard, we've got our fold up transom seat right there. Removable table. Now you can get a filler board and fill in there and have an increased sun pad back here for a day of lounging and just catching a few naps. Up under this seat, we see we've got loads of storage right there. Now let me point out, this cockpit upholstery is all recent, and we've got the cockpit carpet also. Here at the helm, we have a double wide lighter seat right here, so your companions can hang out with you. Circling over here to the helm, we see we've got that Sea Ray leather wood steering. Down below we've got our VHF radio. All of our rocker switches are easy at accessible right here in front of us. And back in the day we used to use charts so we'd keep them right up under there. But now why don't we just use this Garmin GPS 498 chart plotter. Up above, we have all of our operational gauges, temperature, oil pressure, speedometer, trim, RPM, voltmeter, and fuel gauge right up there. This is going to give us a view of the foredeck right there. We've got easy access. We've got some nice, great lounge pads. And as we circle around, this will give us an overview of the cockpit. Engine access is nice and easy. Peel back the carpet. Lift the hatch. And we've got access to a very clean engine compartment. You notice we're currently showing it with all the eyes and glass up to give you an idea of just how functional and you could use this vessel year round. We see it in the water in a little bit with it all opened up. We enter the cabin through the center line sliding door and down a few steps. Once inside, immediately to port, we have our electrical panel right there. And then we've got a little galley here. Sea Ray does an excellent job. It's formed in fiberglass, so she's nice and solid. We've got some drawer storage below, cabinet, stainless steel sink, single burner stove, in the lower portion, we have our refrigerator right there. 
And then up above, we've got little storage compartments right there. If you notice, we've got custom window coverings in here. And then circling around forward, we see we have a large seating area. We can probably put four, five adults around there quite easily. Now that table also gets lowered and you can see the filler cushions fills in. We've got a bed there about six and a half feet long down the center line. Down below, we've got lots of storage for stuff. If you notice, this boat has been reupholstered, has some nice touches to it. We've got a marine vinyl over the uh, walls, so she's nice and fresh. As we pull back behind, we see we've got a hanging locker right here, big enough for a couple jackets and other stuff. As we move aft, we see right here, we've got a fully lined fiberglass head. We've got the porcelain toilet, vacuum flush system, just like on an airplane, to keep the vessel nice, clean, and fresh smelling. For shower purposes, we've got the RV style wand. Pull it out, hang it up. Nice LLI in here, ladies like it is the fact that it's all fiberglass, can be wiped down nice and easily. Circling back, Sea Ray's made use of all the space. We've got more storage right there. And then another place to sleep right behind. We've got a full beam mid cabin here. It's eight feet long. It does have its own window right there for air and ventilation. At the entry, you've got over three and a half feet of headroom and then it drops down. Now way in the back, you see we've got gunnel storage right there. To give the illusion of more space, we've got a nice mirrored headboard right there. Pulling back, we see some nice finishing Upgrades, new upholstery. This boat is neat, clean, odor free. There's a two year warranty period left on the engine, so she's ready to go for the next owner. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are, Newport Dunes launch ramp getting ready to launch the 1995 sea ray 270 sundancer we see she sits on a beautiful tandem axle trailer with hydraulic brakes coming down along the starboard side we see she's got excellent bottom paint just look at the quality of that trailer we've got side guides to make easy loading custom tires right there and then here we are at the transom. We've got our trim tabs, underwater lights, Merc Cruiser Bravo one, that's the X drive, that's the heavy duty one, stainless steel, prop on that, easy access from the transom. We see we've got that full enclosure opened up nicely, side guides, then coming down along the port side, this gives us an excellent view of this 270 Sea Ray Sundance. Even the spare tire has a custom rim on it. She's all set, ready to go. Here we go, nice and easy launch into the water. We're launching this with a GMC Sierra Denali. Nice and easy, in she goes. 